For a microphone and audio company, Rode has a pretty nice logo, but personally, I'm not a big fan of the font. The vowels just look strange. I guess what I'm saying is, I like the logo, but it's got an odd EO. I think when it comes to audio, you really have to gauge the level of risk involved, lower of course being better. As I've continued to upgrade my audio gear, I always make sure to choose the particular setup that is best suited to my needs. The internal microphone is like the internet explorer of audio. Everyone uses it and it is always bad. That's why as soon as I bought my camcorder, I made sure to buy an accessory microphone. Now here's the thing with Sony, they hate standards, especially with their consumer products. If every single manufacturer uses it and there are hundreds of accessories, you can be pretty sure Sony doesn't use it. This has been the case with SD cards, and in this case with the hot shoe mount and 3.5mm audio input. Now, Sony decided in their great wisdom that people would much prefer to have this cold shoe mount thing that they invented, which was really just a tactic to force people to buy their really overpriced, horrible accessories, which is what this is. It doesn't really sound much better than the internal audio. Because of this, I switched over to shooting audio separately on an audio and USB microphone. Unfortunately, the audio did sound a little bit better, actually a lot bit better. It just got rid of all of my flexibility, I'll having to sync everything later on, and it was just a big pain. When I switched over to DSLR, I needed a new microphone, and I needed it to be flexible. I actually got pretty creative with it, so for interviews and vlogs like these, I'd inch it a little bit closer to the subject by a few feet, and it made a big difference on the sound but it was still not as isolating as I would have liked. So I started using a lavalier microphone and a separate audio recorder. This is a little bit hard to use, but it sounds really nice. I've used a lot of different types of equipment and approaches over the years, but I still had to remain flexible and creative.